The Spider King boss found in the spider cave is a great example of understanding that not every mob or enemy needs to be killed. Recommended weapon for this is the crossbow with flame arrows as there is a buff towards flame damage regarding spider nests as well as spiders in general. And with the spider king walking into its den, you'll notice three spider nests. I think it's important to take those out first as they constantly spawn spiders. And so by taking them out early, it limits the number of spiders that you have to deal with and that you can walk around more naturally. Starting with its mechanics, you can see right off the bat that it jumps up into the air and then slams down in a wide AOE circle. Another mechanic you see is that it spits out a spider web trap that slows you down if you walk over it. And then its third mechanic is itself spawning spiderlings or baby spiders. The way to take on the spider king is to walk in wide circles. Because if you go all about the area of the map, it will shoot spider web traps, slowing you down and making it hard to maneuver. Especially when the spider web traps make it so that you are 100% vulnerable towards the spider slam. Of course, if you have the availability to use guns such as the handgun, the pistol, the sniper rifle, or the shotgun, by all means, go ahead and use that. But the bow and arrow, or the crossbow with flame arrows works just fine. At the end, you do want to make sure that you have a melee weapon to deal with all of the small mobs, unless you want to go ahead and do a map reset by leaving the map, or if you just want to go ahead and reset at the shelter. Upon finding this body, you're, you find that you are awarded with a reinforced crossbow, poison arrows, and iron arrows. This, I believe, also has to do with a quest that you can turn in at the outskirts. And that is how you fight the Spider King.